scientists are trying a new approach in the fight against dengue fever, a disease spread by mosquitoes that is sometimes fatal. The idea is to breed mosquitoes with which carry a bacteria that makes them unable to spread dengue fever. Results so far have been promising, but a new front in the battle has emerged. Skepticism, driven by disinformation on social media. DW's Ferdinand Himmermann reports from Central Java. Petriani is raising mosquitoes, special ones. These larvae will become Wolbachia mosquitoes. They cannot spread dengue fever and should replace those which do. Her eight-year-old son got sick with dengue a few months ago. Fitriani is keen to stop that happening to her older son. I want the mosquitoes around my house to be non-dengue viral. At first, I was annoyed, of course, because there were more mosquitoes. But in the long run, for the sake of our health, it's okay. These officials are distributing 7 million mosquito eggs, delivered on bits of cloth in these plastic bags complete with pallets of food. They deliver every two weeks to 11,000 houses. That's less than a quarter of the city, but the need is real. Indonesian hospitals treated three times as many dengue cases in the first five months of this year as the same period last year. This year, Three people died here in Sumarang, and 180 more became ill with it. Most of them, children. Doctors here say they think they can see the results of the Sumarang Wolbachia mosquito program. That may have a huge impact on reducing dengue fever. Patients from Semarang City mostly come to the hospital with mild and moderate dengue fever. But patients from other cities come with severe conditions and symptoms. Despite the fact that this program has proven successful in several areas, some people are still skeptical about the solution. Many neighborhoods in Semarang have rejected this mosquito program. That's why this team are talking to locals here. They hope to counter misinformation spread on social media. Theories suggest the mosquito scheme is the government trying to spread dengue, or that the mosquitoes give people a second disease. After there were many cases of dengue fever and the mosquitoes became more numerous, I became afraid. I was afraid that the mosquitoes would carry the dengue virus. People here in the city of Yogyakarta will tell them otherwise. This is where the first Wolbachia program back in 2016 took place. The number of dengue cases is down by 77%. This is also home to the Wolbachia mosquito hatching station. This laboratory at Gajah Mada University produces millions of mosquito eggs for delivery across Indonesia. But scientists here know their work will only succeed when people are on board. The most important thing is when most of the community accepts it, we can mobilize support. I think that can enable this technology to have an impact on the community. Back in Sumarang, Fitriani needs no convincing. She says her family is safer thanks to anti-dengue mosquitoes like this one. For more on this, I'm now joined by Dr. Raman Velayudan. He's with the Global Neglected Tropical Diseases Program at the World Health Organization and joins us uh, from Geneva. Now, let's start with a little dengue background. Uh, how would I even know if I had the disease? What are the symptoms? Well, dengue is a viral disease. So essentially, the basic symptom is uh, fever and uh, you may have severe joint pains. But the interesting thing about dengue is when you get it for the first time, it is very mild. And we call it 80% of the cases are doesn't show much of a symptom. So you may be sick for a day or two. You take paracetamol and you, you get better and it is not really reported. This is the challenge we have. But there are cases which can be very severe with more uh, alarming signs which comes when you have a dengue for the second time. So it is basically like a flu-like symptom with more 
uh, body pain and occasionally rashes and the fever can be high and that's uh, that's how you know you may be suffering from dengue so the idea is to breed different mosquitoes to replace the dengue carrying population is this really the fastest most effective way of fighting this disease dengue the, the main challenge with the dengue is that this mosquito is a day biter so essentially most of our control interventions which uh, we address in the house doesn't work because this is a day biter and it can bite you in places of work or play in the schools and so on. So this tool, which is basically a bacteria injected into the mosquito body and the bacteria multiplies and survives and gets passed on to the next generation. The advantage of the Bulbachia bacteria is that it blocks the virus within the body of the mosquito. And as the reporter had said, the uh, trials in Indonesia has proven that it is effective to reduce dengue by almost 77%. Mm. Now, last year saw the highest number of dengue cases ever recorded. The World Health Organization uh, is warning this could only be the beginning. What's driving this surge now, including in areas where dengue has never been an issue? There are several factors. One. Uh, we have declared dengue as a grade three emergency since December, and we are working right across the organization at all levels, including uh, countries and regional offices. The issue here is, first of all, dengue is triggered, uh, is carried by asymptomatic carriers to newer places. So essentially, we any traveler could be ha harboring dengue. He could take it to a new place from where the mosquito picks up and transmits it to other people in and around the locality. So it is mainly the movement of people, especially after the COVID, there has been a mass upsurge of movement of people, tourists, which, which is fine and which has also triggered part of the mm. problem. The second issue, which is more challenging, is the climate change. So we have uh, records now showing that the temperatures recorded are warmer, and especially in southern Peru, right now they have even uh, published a paper on Indonesia, Indian Ocean where the uh, temperatures have risen. So this temperature rise favors the mosquito to breed faster. And this triggers, the mosquito breeds faster, the virus breeds faster within the mosquito. So this all triggers the increase in dengue right now. So we are seeing an ex exceptional rare increase. And actually, this year, we are, we are more or less going to cross the last year's number because we have had a large number of cases reported in South America. But the, there is also the problem of co-infections. Like, mm -hmm. there are other diseases like chikungunya, uh, urupuchu, which, are, uh, which is emerging in South America now, are all transmitted by the more or less the same mosquito. And this is getting recorded as dengue because the symptoms are more or less mm. the same. So this is one of the challenges we face. Okay. Dr. Rahman Vilayudan, the World Health Organization, thank you very much for sharing your expertise with us. Thank you.